Have you ever felt like a real fanboy? I mean, like die hard, ride and die, Nintendo is life gaming fanboy. Well, yeah, that was me. Back in the day, back in the GameCube era days, ride and die Mario, Xbox sucks, Halo is garbage. That's kind of embarrassing, but it was me. And if I'm being honest, it's still a part of me today. Secretly deep down, I want Nintendo to be great again. Boo! Boo this man! He said the phrase, burn him! Now, I can already see a couple comments out there, so don't let me down. But uh, I also see some of you thinking, but isn't Nintendo just crushing it, Brian? And yeah, the Nintendo Switch is crushing it. It's actually approaching 120 million units sold. It has now outsold the PS4. And the only systems that it has left to overtake are the Nintendo DS and the PlayStation 2. Now, I own three Nintendo Switches myself and even considered picking up a couple this Christmas, but we'll have to wait and see for the future as the Christmas budget was way, way, uh, way reduced this year. I'm sure all of y'all feel the pain as 2022 was a year of garbage. Anyhow, let's talk about the elephant in the room, though. The Nintendo Switch 2. I'm you know, sure that you guys maybe have seen the, the trends on Twitter. Perhaps you've seen them over here on YouTube talking about the rumor that Nintendo was working on a Switch Pro, but that ended up getting shelved and now as a part of the yearly tradition. And, and yes, I, I do mean it's a YouTube yearly tradition. Every January, every end of the year, Nintendo Switch Pro, Nintendo Switch 2, that's what always seems to trend. And it is what it is, right? But apart from all that, and apart from this tradition, here we are once again, and everyone is talking about what Nintendo should do next. But no one is talking about the inconvenient truth behind the Switch 2 and why it might be even longer than you want before Nintendo actually shows its hand. And with all that being said, hello and everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Brain. If you're new around here, traditionally I talk about MMOs, but the Nintendo fanboy in me has to speak and say my piece, especially about what I want for the Switch 2. So this isn't just why we're not gonna be seeing a Switch 2 anytime soon. That's kind of a bummer of a topic. It's actually gonna be also what I wanna see in the Switch 2. And if you guys wanna weigh in, I'd love to know what you guys want for the Nintendo Switch 2 as well. And guys, if you feel like these videos earn it and you enjoy them, if you hit that like button, how about a picture of this awesome picture of Mario, right? Like as a special thank you, <laughs> hitting that like button, there you go. Or hell, we'll just toss in Luigi here as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're gonna go ahead and move on with the video itself. So a part of the problem here is really me. Like I'm a part of the Nintendo problem. For as much as I and other gamers want Nintendo to really quote unquote compete, and deep down, if we're being honest with ourselves, we really want that. But with the likes of PlayStation and Xbox, the reality is they're dominating PlayStation and Xbox every which way that it counts in terms of sales, money, and as, as I voice my frustrations, as I, as I see the interaction online, as I am absolutely frustrated at their DRM, especially their DRM. I think honestly, their DRM, if they made a change, I would be much, much happier with how it's structured, but maybe that's a video breakout topic if you guys want. Now, I still hand them money each and every time I get that opportunity. It's, it's a why I'm part of the problem. If I'm being honest, that's why they are so slow and reluctant to change because it ends up doesn't it doesn't work for them in their favor it, it, why would you right like if somebody can say hey it'd be great if you i don't know colored your hair red right i'm a ginger red awesome stuff right let's make that connection but every time you told me that you handed me a hundred dollars it'd be great if you, you like all of a sudden I'm, I'm kind of incentivized maybe not to out of risk that that hundred dollars would start you know stop coming but let's go ahead and talk about the real, you know, I guess egg in the room or the real elephant in the room. I guess that's the proper term. Nintendo has no pressure on them to release the Switch 2. The Nintendo Switch is selling on hotcakes. And on top of that, the big delay here really shouldn't surprise anyone, but I don't see anybody talking about it. You have two aspects, the Wii U and the pandemic. I'm sure we all would love to see the next Zelda game on Switch 2. 
I think one of the things that the Pokemon game really kind of highlighted was some performance issues, and, and that's perfectly okay. I mean, the system is getting up in its years. Now, what Nintendo does not want to do again is release a console and have a content drought after release. The initial release will sell like hotcakes, but what Nintendo does is they want to make a system that sells 100 million units or more. The times they really haven't are times that they rushed it out without really having the content to keep up the high demand. This kind of goes back to the GameCube eras. Like the, there is this scene, like I, I, I see the ebbs and flows, the wins and the losses with the Nintendo time and time again. And with the Switch not hurting for sales and still getting plenty and plenty of software and support and also starting to dip into the cloud to be able to kind of handle certain games, like I think they can etch out a little bit more performance, a little bit more life from the system while they build up that backlog, that that content pipeline. pipeline. Because one of the things the Switch did incredibly well outside of its form factor and its just access accessibility, uh, especially before all the things that have happened over the last five years. But what's really been interesting to see is that they had that banger of a game hit each like in every month, even if it was a Wii U port, it still hit every single month. So there was always a reason to pick up the Switch. There was always a reason to talk about it. There was always a reason to play it. One of the things that's also changed is that we could actually make Nintendo videos on the internet now without having to go through so many hoops just to get your video approved. So there's been some real good momentum and changes behind this company. Now, the fact is though, why rush it? And it's a bummer of a thing. But we as gamers will actually benefit as we suffer through the one thing that will always and forever suck, the need to have to be patient when it comes to games, especially with Nintendo. But let's pivot to a more positive subject, right? The Switch 2 doesn't look like it's any closer than it has been. Uh, you're gonna see probably a lot of videos. If it ends up coming out sooner, as long as they got the content to back it up, I'm gonna be thrilled. But I wanna talk now about what I want for the Switch 2, my wish list for this system. And you guys can let me know if we align on any of this or if we disagree on certain aspects or what you wanna see, because I'd like to actually do a follow-up video on this if we get enough uh, engagement in terms of like some really interesting points, because I don't want a Nintendo that's just for me. I want a Nintendo that really wins like and really dominates. But let's go ahead and talk about it. Personally, I don't play my Switch much anymore. It's mostly in a docked mode. And after my kids tossed the Switch Lite into the bathtub, true story, I think my Switch will forever be out of the reach of my kids. That's unfortunate. Now, we might replace the Switch itself, but I've currently got them playing on the G Cloud handheld, which they're using the X, X Cloud uh, to play all the Xbox games that we have. And that ends up being very, uh, very good. Very, it's a good service. We end up having the internet that can handle it. I love it. Anyway, but what I really need though, is flexibility. I need that flexibility. I want the original, what the original Switch gave me, but now I live in a world with GeForce Now and PC gaming and console gaming. All my stuff is in sync with one another and it's just dadgum fantastic. Steam Deck, for another instance, gives me a bunch of flexibility and that is really becoming my go-to system. Same thing with xCloud. These aren't ready for the prime time, but heck, uh, it's a heck of a convenience feature and that tends to actually draw me more into those games over a Nintendo Switch time and, and time again. Now, personally, I would love to have the ability to remote play my Switch games from the cloud. Not that the Switch 2 needs to be 100% cloud based, but if the system is a few years away and as the internet improves, it would be an awesome way for Nintendo to fully embrace online in a way that they could keep saying, but they never really do, in my personal opinion. If anybody's ever played Smash on the Switch, maybe you, you kind of relate to that. Maybe you'll feel that same way that I do time and time again. But I don't think it's about power here. I think if they ended up embracing the cloud, that ends up becoming a scalable solution for generations and decades to come because then it just gets upgraded behind the scenes. But people want to be able to take their games outside of the internet, right? So it would be kind of that hybrid solution that it's a console. It's more powerful than the Switch would be, but it doesn't necessarily need to be everything because when you're within range of internet, it could always kind of start to tap into additional processing power through the power of the cloud. But I want more than anything else, the ability to have kind of voice chat. I want a system-wide network overhaul. I want to be able to like 
lean into more online gaming in the way that the PlayStation, that the PC, that the Xbox do and do so well. And that's one of the things why I was excited that they started charging for their online service and still at the same time frustrated that they didn't put a dock, uh, a port, an Ethernet port in the original, uh, you know, original dock. At least they did so in the OLED model, but that becomes it's an inconsistency, right? You know, so hopefully more and better and networked and, you know, like ease of access will be a great thing for the future. Also, like I said, the DRM, I would love some more flexibility with that. I guess it does incentivize the, the buying of their games and they do retain their value. They do hold on the value for sure. And at the finally, I, I would say oh, I want a new Mario game. I love Mario. Uh, he's one of the, the key you know, components to my childhood. Uh, it was the first game I ever saw was Super Mario Brothers 2. To this day, I, I love Mario and Super Mario Odyssey is, is, is such a great game. And I want to continue to see more and more and more of that. Me and my wife like to sit down and play uh, Odyssey from time to time on date nights. And it's just it's something so great. I can't wait to see what they do uh, next with uh, with Mario. But so here at the end, when Nintendo is ready to move on, that's when I see all this happening. We, we all want better hardware for sure. Um, but what I want is hardware that doesn't just gather dust for a good percentage of its life. I want a Nintendo that I can't put down. And that's all, though. If you guys want more videos, YouTube probably has a couple up here for you now. Uh, just click on them and enjoy. And I really hope that you do. And I hope you have a great and wonderful day. I appreciate your time and uh, listening to me talk about the Nintendo Switch 2. And I'm really serious about uh, wanting to know what you guys think. But I'm going to cut it there and um, wish you all the best. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Hopefully, we'll all be uh, talking about a Nintendo Switch 2, a reality of that system at some point here in the future. I don't know if it's a near future, but you know what? I'd be happy if it was. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Hopefully, you have a great day. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.